Baking definitely runs in my family. My mom always made muffins and so did my husband's mom. I live in the Washington DC area and I grew up in the more of the countryside or the suburbs. Today I have a lot of overripe bananas that need to be used up, so I'm going to be making banana muffins. Extra large bowl for a double batch. <laughs> if you don't have time to make muffins before the bananas are too ripe, you can freeze them, either with the peels on or off. Since I'm a one bowl baker, I usually start with my liquids and then I add the, the dry ingredients. I'm gonna melt some coconut oil to add in. I'm gonna put the milk. This is just the milk of the day. I happen to have coconut milk on hand, so that's what I'm gonna use. One cup of that. And then my two eggs and maple syrup for sweetening, about a half cup. Next we have vanilla, two teaspoons. Something about bananas and vanilla that tastes really good together. I'm gonna add in the coconut oil. So next we have the dry ingredients. I have all my wet ingredients in here. Next, I'm gonna start with the oat bran. Muffins are very forgiving in terms of ingredient measurement. They can be on the wetter side or on the drier side. It'll, it'll affect a little bit the texture of the outcome, but a little variation is fine. Next, I'm using one and a half cups of spelt flour. That's what I have on hand. And I'm using two different kinds of flour just to add a little complexity to the flavor. Um, this is a seven grain flour that has no wheat in it. It has rye and corn and a few other different flours mixed. Next to the salt and baking powder. A teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of baking powder. Now all that's left is the raisins. These are a treat for the family, so the more raisins, the better. So we have adult size and toddler size muffins. <laughs> and I've already sprayed my pans with olive oil spray. Walnuts, chopped up, pretty small. So I'm gonna mix up a little cinnamon sugar. Three teaspoons of sugar to one teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm using turbinado sugar, which gives it a little bit more crunchy texture. Growing up, uh, my husband, one of his favorite breakfasts was muffins, and it's one of the first things he learned to cook with his mom. So when we got married, I very quickly learned to make his favorite muffin recipe. 400 degrees for about 15 minutes is when I take the miniature muffins out and 20 minutes for the regular size muffins. <laughs> as long as there's no gooey crumbs sticking to the toothpick, they're ready. Okay, they're done. They're delicious. <laughs>